I think we did pretty good. I think so too. What's up guys, I'm Randy here with Heather the Hop Hater Hernandez and this is BBBR episode 5. Welcome back guys, Randy here with Heather of course, BBBR episode 5. Today we're reviewing Big Top Brewery in Sarasota. Sarasota again. We and like Sarasota. We love Sarasota and we're talking about technology. I'm reviewing Circus City's IPA of course, 6.8% ABV. I don't remember drinking this one so I guess we'll see how it goes. All right and I have the Conk Republic Key Lime Wheat Ale and it is 5.1%. So without further ado, let's crack them. Let's crack them. No race today. No race. Smell test. Mm. Ooh. It's light and citrusy on this one. Mine is uh, mine smells light as well, but it's um. Let me try that. Very floral, citrusy smell, like more so yeah. than the normal ones like that I drink. Florally. I think, yeah. First taste. Good. Here we go. Wait, it's... I gotta smell yours. Oh. Oh yeah, it sounds like an IPA. It's nice and hot out today. It's gonna be nice. Yes. Here Cheers. we go. Cheers. Oh yeah. <sighs> this is really good. It's um mine's a little more citrusy, like I said, kind of a citrusy IPA, not too overly hoppy or bitter. Right. It's got, you know, that good hop flavor, a little bit of, of sweetness, like a caramel flavor, I guess. Yeah. Caramel, 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 caramel. 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 But it's really, really tasty. They say it's like an English style. Is it like a, the lighter IPA because it's Florida brewed? It's, so it's, it's definitely to drink. a lighter IPA. It's not super hoppy right. or heavy. Good. Well, mine is good also. The wheat ales that I typically drink. I don't get a lot of key lime from it. I definitely get the citrus hint. Um, it says on here that it has hints of graham cracker what? to complement the key lime, like a key lime pie. I got to try that. Yeah. Whoa, key, it key. does have like a graham crackery right? flavor it's like to it. like drinking a key lime pie. Don't try it in the blender. So jumping into today's topic of technology and really the generations, how they yes. differ. The younger generations seem to be enthralled and super involved with technology, especially the smartphone. Are we the, the younger generation? I think we're millennials. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Sounds good. So our parents will be always be like, you're always on your phone every time they come to see us or whatever, right. but they don't realize we're actually working. We're answering questions, responding to messages, emails, comments on YouTube. Right. But I we also, work from our phone. Yeah. And I also think that they say that because, well, when they were our age, they didn't have cell phones to be on. So right. if they had them, they would have done the same thing. But, you know, there's always a time and a place if you're trying to have a nice dinner with the family. Obviously, you don't want to be on your phone. But we are constantly working, constantly doing something productive on our phones. It's not all fun and games. Right. We're not scrolling Instagram for personal right. use. We're, right. Anytime we're on our phones, on social media, it's for work. Right. Absolutely. Everybody that I talk to personally, I text or call. Right. I don't really use social media that much for personal interaction. It's more for business. Yeah purposes but then if you get on the subject of kids like younger kids and social media or technology i should say gen z's i think is that what they're generation called? z i think okay i mean i guess that that's what you want to call them um what's your thoughts on those people 16 17 kids 16 17 18 are building multi-million dollar businesses right. from their smartphone i think that's impressive i think it's a huge opportunity that the older generation misses out on because they're so stuck in that technology's bad you shouldn't be on your phone all the time it's cancer this and that right well there's even times when we have to ask our 15 year old nephew how to do something whether it be on the youtube or on the phone on you know social media or something like that so i do think that they are starting younger and it's very beneficial because that's obviously where future is heading but at the same time there's always a time and a place and then there's a whole question of at what point should a child get a cell phone? Right, or... what age? I think as young as possible they should have iPads, learning how to use it, search for things they want to find, YouTube videos. Obviously you want to have some kind of parental control. Right. But I think the skill of searching and researching, finding what you're looking for, whether it's a cartoon, whatever, is a skill that you need in today's world with technology the way it is. 
you think a three to five year old should have some type of technological device? One hundred percent. Absolutely. See, that's where you and I disagree some. I'm not saying that it's not beneficial and helpful for them to be able to search and how to do that. I think that's extremely important because obviously even in, in school these days, kids have iPads to do their homework on. Like they provide them it's in crazy. school. So I do think that is um, beneficial, but I think there's a time and the place and I think it should be limited. I so don't... out to dinner, should they have their iPad? Heck no. That's the one thing that gets on my nerves the most is when you see a family out at dinner and then they have their kids on their phone or an iPad scrolling or have their headphones in at dinner. Yeah. That's unacceptable. Like you're there to, to you can take an hour break to socialize with your family. I think you need that break from it. If you get too involved, I think you need to learn real social skills and how to act in public in a dinner situation or any kind of public event where you're supposed to interact and mingle. You can't be into your phone or iPad all the time. It's a skill that you need to learn. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that... It's a crutch Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. I think a lot of adults have used it as a crutch. I And I know adults are busy. You and I are busy. Yeah. No same. offense. No, no there's offense. no offense it's, at all. A lot of times you're busy and here, have my iPad. Right. Get do away this, from me. I got other stuff to do type thing. But there's always a time and a place. And, I, and that's one of my pet peeves. I mean, yes, I think it's very beneficial for kids to learn how to do that and how to use it. Obviously, it's never going away. So it's helpful. And we're not parents. So we're speaking we're from a non-parental. But we do take care of our nephew. He's lived with us for a couple years now. Yes. And we try to limit it at dinner, when we go out to eat, certain social situations, we won't let him have his phone out or encourage him not to be like, that's not okay. Right. I think you just got to find that happy medium, that good balance. It's definitely a huge opportunity though. The way, like to work from your bedroom, basically work from the couch, work from anywhere you want, work from the beach, your condo, anywhere you want to be, you have the opportunity to build a business, build a personal brand from your smartphone, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. YouTube, it's amazing. And yeah. I, we're doing our best to take advantage of it, but the younger generation have, has an even bigger opportunity because Absolutely. they have a huge head start. Yeah, well, before we you know, we had this, the business, we weren't on Facebook. No social media. I no. wasn't. I didn't have a YouTube account. I didn't have a Facebook or Instagram. I had to learn how to use all of that. Yeah. I was way behind the curve. Had to ask our nephew, how do I do this on YouTube? How do I right. set this up on Instagram? You yeah. know, so. It's crazy. It's definitely important, but. So back to the beer. Mine's drinking. It's very refreshing. It's a lighter one, right? It's a lighter IPA. It's not like High Lie was. It's not like a High Lie. Yeah. It's definitely less hoppy and more refreshing. And it does have that sweeter, like a caramel or chocolatey note almost. Chocolatey? Let me try it. It's no graham cracker, but oh. I think you might actually like that one a little more than most. No. No? No. Hop I, hater. It's too Heather hot. the hop hater. I mean, I can't help it. So how's the graham cracker flowing? It's good. It's, it's good. very good. Yes. Fun fact. For those of you who may or may not know, this is Conch Republic Key Lime Wheat Ale. What is so Conch Republic? Because yes. So the Conch Republic is used to describe the Keys, or specifically Key West, when it first started. Originally, they had a checkpoint set up right before you went into the Keys, and they would check for illegal immigrants and narcotics. So people got tired of having to wait in this long check line to go to the Keys. So finally, Key West rebelled, per se, and they did their own republic, and that's like a hence, revolution. Exactly. I had never knew that. Hence the Conch Republic. And interesting then, fact. Yes. So then they eventually, because people were revolting with the Conch Republic, they eventually lifted the checkpoint, and the name just kind of stuck around. So hmm. that's kind of summarized it. And if you ever go to the Keys, must try Key Lime Pie, the best ever. Key Lime Pie is okay. Key West Key Lime Pie. The Keys mm. are super commercialized Florida. I'm about down home, gritty Florida, you know? Yeah, well, that's some down home, authentic Key Lime Pie that you must try. With graham cracker? Graham cracker crust, yes. All right, you ready for lightning round? Oh, it's my turn? It's your time. Oh, man, let me take a sip of my beer. Me too. I got to prepare for this. There you go. Oh, man. Favorite beer? Passion Wheat Ale by J Dubs. Favorite kind of pizza? Ooh, it's a toss-up between Hawaiian and barbecue chicken. Favorite clothing brand? American Eagle. Favorite sunglasses brand? Ooh, Fed Throw. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite place to visit? The beach. Favorite city? Siesta Key or Chicago. Favorite mode of transportation? 
airplane. That's it for lightning round. Tell me about Big Top Brewery in Sarasota. So like you mentioned, it is out of Sarasota. Um, they were brewing, this gentleman was brewing beer for a while and said, you know, the one thing Sarasota is missing is craft brew. And so he decided to open a brewery and wanted to dedicate it towards the um, fine arts that Sarasota is so big into and Ringling Brothers Circus, hence the name Big Top. Big Top, like a circus. Exactly. Got it. To sum it up, really love this IPA. It's right up there with my favorite Circus City IPA, 6.8. Not too high for an IPA, but kind of in the middle. Yeah. And definitely the key lime wheat ale, it might be something you say, uh, 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 I don't know, it's key lime, but it doesn't really have a strong key lime flavor. Definitely check it out, 5.1. It's more graham crackery than key lime, yeah. I think. Very easy drinking, for sure. And as far as technology, I think, in my opinion, it's a huge opportunity for the generations coming, our generation, and even the older generations. They're not too old to jump on it no. and learn how to do this stuff. If you don't like the situation you're in, there's masses of massive amounts of opportunity out there right. online to make money on your terms yeah how you want to do it where From you want home. to do it yeah absolutely but there is a time and a place there's a time and a place you have to find that balance thank you so much for watching this has been bbbr episode five thanks for tuning in we are back sorry for the couple week break we had a hurricane we had a hurricane little little storm a little storm little but we're storm. back and better than ever. If you want us to review a beer or send us a beer, P.O. Box, what's our P.O. Box? 6733 Lakeland, Florida 33807. Send us some beers or give us some suggestions yeah. in the comments. Let us know what kind of beers you want us to review. I know gluten free is on the list. Gluten free is on the list. And we're going to start expanding outside of Florida breweries as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Outside of Florida, we're definitely yeah. going to start doing. We just wanted to start in Florida because yeah. that's what we know. Yeah. It's what Absolutely. we love. Thank you so much for watching. Leave it down in the comments what you think about technology, your thoughts on the topic, whether you agree or yeah. not. We don't care. We'll argue with you in the comments. Of course. Like the video if you like to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Mash it, slike it, twist it, whatever you gotta do Whoa. to the like button. Just Whoa. Thank and you tits. so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Cheers. I think we did pretty good. I think so too.